So I've been talking for like 10 minutes, and I didn't realize that by starting and by stopping and starting the thing, it turned off my microphone. Well. So I was like, D, I need help. D. D, where are you, D? D. And then I was like, oh, the microphone went off. What are you sorry for? I'm the one whose microphone was turned off. It's not your fault. Anyway, I think I got it. <clears throat> but anyway, as I was saying, um... I gotta be honest, Aaron, you getting Yosuke isn't really that big of a surprise to me. I was just trying to remember where the personas were. I mean, I would have been less surprised if, if Dom had gotten Yosuke, but... You know, you getting Yosuke, not that big of a surprise, gotta be honest. Because you're my bro, man. Yes, I know you heard that, because I said it. <laughs> I'm just saying, man, I've seen some of the shit you put on your Tumblr. You're totally Yosuke. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after much frustration, difficulty, and annoyance, and general pain in the acidness, the time has come. Yeah, he's pretty jacked. Not gonna lie. I was gonna give him power charge, but to be honest, he doesn't like he doesn't have any need for it. Uh um
Power of truth, bitch. Right there. Yeah, I am the original god, Izanagi no Okami. <coughs> Alright, let's see. Okay. D, now I need your help. I'm I'm going to name off what um S links I'm not that I need something for and I just want you to like keep track of them for me please. Like, just type them out in the thing or whatever, or just so I, I know what personas I have to grab. Yeah, Priestess. Emperor. Lovers. Chariot. Fortune. Hanged Man. Devil. Tower, Moon, Aeon. Thank you, dear. Emperor. None of the shit here is particularly interesting, so we'll just pick up Oberon. <clears throat> Okie doke. Ishtar. Chariot. Adavaka's boring, and Fushitsune is not particularly interesting, so we'll just pick up any old thing here. Fortune, Hanged Man. Devil. There's Beals above, Lord of the Flies. A weird bastard. Tower. Moon. Aeon.
<clears throat> no, I don't need Jester anymore. Why? Did you want me to bring Ms. Uh, Magatsu Izanagi with me or something? Or just in general? Yeah, I finished with his link. Also, he's totally wearing pants, so... Actually, wait, let me make sure I fucking registered. Okay, yeah, he's good. Also, totally wearing pants and a codpiece. Alright, let's go hang out with Naoto, shall we? Hello. Naoto has asked you out. I don't I don't quite think that's how that worked. Yes. Yeah, Naoto looks happy. is fortune. Don't mind me looking in my book. Rank two. Oh god, my chat log has turned into fucking Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Once the D. I'll see you again. Practically against her will, you walk now to her house before going home. I can imagine that. You don't have to. You don't have to walk me home. It's okay. Like, we're literally five feet from your house. You can stop apologizing about it. No, it's fine. You can turn around and go home. Now we're at your door. But you didn't have to go through... Oh, I'm going home now. Bye. Welcome back. Now it's all likely does not need any further encouragement to increase her S link rank. Uh, it's raining, so I can't do anything particularly exciting tonight anyway. 
Oh, wait, no, it's not raining tonight. Hmm. No, but I could go to the shrine and attempt to buy somebody's appreciation. I'm just trying to think if, like, anybody particularly needs it, kind of. Aya Bihara probably does, but I can basically just make lunch and buy her off, so that's fine. Yeah, alright, I'll just make lunch. October 25th. I should have the option to make grilled fish. Strong heat, but from far away. Obtained toasty grilled fish. Out. <clears throat> hey. Hey, baby, what's up? Do you look forward to it? But I'm not interested in the blind date part, understand? Well, I mean, that's fair. I'd really rather look at you when I'm dating you, so that's, I mean, that's good. But, but you voted for it. Wait, you voted for it. You voted for it. Yukiko. And it just occurs to me, I don't have any of my fucking shit open for this. No, I use the wheat to break open. I use the wheat to break open treasure chests. I use the eggplant to work as a, um, a substitute in case an instant death attack kills me. Um, I use the corn to protect me from damage, and I use the tomatoes to refill my spell points. There's a few other things. What is this? It's delicious. Yeah, 
I enjoyed your lunch. I bet she did. Well, speaking of I, she's here to hang out with. Fucking six. Sure. All right. To progress to rank seven, I am Ihara. First choice doesn't matter. I'm sorry. Banana, potato, na, banana. What does the fox say? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. All your poop. Oh, I let her have some of the veggies. I just keep most of them. Okay, Devil was rank 9.
Derp. Oh my god, now Naoto hangs out in the fucking street at night. Oh god, we're finally gonna fucking finish off the devil social wink. Jesus Christ. About time. Person I was when I was here. One what, Jack? The only thing she's done since I've come here is torment the shit out of me and make me miserable. What is she gonna do? Give me one more fucking rude, uh, rude and awkward fucking sex talk line. Yes, and of course the max, the, the maximum thing for the, her social link, the Prince of Lies. What's right? What you should choose to do in life. The answers to those things lie within you. So long. Yeah, Sayako left, never looking back. And I also never fucking look back to this place. I never, ever have to fucking go here again. Yo! Oh god, here we go. There's a headline written in large letters on the bulletin board. The Miss Yasogami High Pageant. It seems to be announcing a beauty pageant that will take place during the Culture Festival. Ugh, on top of planning it, Kashiwagi's gonna be in it? Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. A 36-year-old woman, presumably, is going to be in a beauty pageant full of teenage girls. Ew. So that's why she agreed to plan this event. <clears throat> the name Noriko Kashiwagi is indeed on the entry list. The other contestants are... You see a list of familiar names. Yukiko Amagi, Chie Satonaka, Rise Kuchikawa, Naoto Shirogane, Hanako Ota... Ugh. It's a surprising lineup. He, not really that surprising. So many people took an interest. Whoa, Risei Kujikawa? Seriously? Oh man, trust a celebrity to kill the fun of it all. I bet she'll draw a huge crowd. Wow, Yukiko-san's finally entering. 
If this was any other year, she'd win for sure. Now she's up against Rosette. It's gonna be a culture festival to remember. Wow, that just sounded like an incredibly gross way of pronouncing that. Huh? Rosette's entering? She's gonna take part in something like this? Maybe I better think more seriously about saving a seat. Look, Chihei's entering too. She's actually pretty close to my type. Why are these people just identified by the girls that they're interested in? Jesus Christ. Actually, I hear she has a lot of secret admirers. Naoto's that boyish, girlish, whatever, right? You know, she's, uh, pretty cute. This person's identi- Wow. Okay. That- the entirety of that statement was just gross. <clears throat> Excuse me, what? This guy? Dude, you sound like a pervo when you laugh like that. Thank you. But to be honest, I think she's cute too. <laughs> yeah, you sound like a pervo too. Yo. I don't know how this happened, but I'm pretty sure it's all your fucking fault. Are you free for lunch? I don't know why, but Chie asked us to come to the roof. You know goddamn well why. She looked pretty serious. I wonder if something's happened. Yeah, this is all your fault, and whatever it is that you did to cause this, something bad's gonna happen to me because of it. You son of a bitch. Oh, and Kanji's coming too. Okay. I do? Why? Because you just enjoy me talking shit to all of the people that we're fucking, as, as we're going through the plot? <laughs> well, I mean, that's fine. That's legal. Seriously? Must have been something in the fine print I overlooked. I knew it. I fucking knew it. So it was you. Oh crap. Hey, do you want us to take part in the beauty pageant? Well, yeah. I mean, you guys know how popular Yukiko is here. And on top of that, we have an idol and a detective prince. What's the point of having a beauty pageant if all these incredible heroines aren't going to take part? So where do I fit in? Chi Chie, honey. Uh, uh, come here. I, I just need to give you a hug. Well, excuse me for not fitting in! Two hugs. You just need a hug, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Yosuke's a douche. Hey, you want them to be in it too, don't you, Kanji? Huh? I ain't interested in that stuff. Naoto-kun, Kanji-kun says that he really wants you to be in it. Oh my fucking god, we're gonna die. What? I, I, I didn't say nothing. What about you? You want them to be in it, right? No! Ah, I see. Is that a hint of jealousy in your voice? You don't want me making eyes at the other boys. <clears throat> Rise, sweetie. Not everything is about you. 
I love you to death. I really do. But whatever you guys are going to do to fucking torture the shit out of me because he's an idiot and you're going to do it, I don't want to part in it. <laughs> hey, you guys are inching onto the bandwagon with Yosuke, aren't you? I am not. I am most certainly not. So long as there are people looking forward to seeing me, I might as well put on a show for them. Of course, there's no need to involve my agency in this. That's right. That's the way to go. Teddy's looking forward to it, too. Don't fucking throw Teddy... Okay, to be fair, Teddy probably is looking forward to this. But don't throw me under the bus. I want nothing to do with this. Actually, I think he was more excited than anyone. It was him who was pushing me to sign you all up. Wow, man. Yosuke's freaking throw bus foo is, like, massive. Teddy's probably sitting at home, like, not even thinking about anything of this. He's just gonna, like, come outside and he's gonna get the shit beaten out of him, and he's gonna have no idea why. We're in an awkward position. If we can't refuse, I suppose <clears throat> there's no sense in arguing the point. But it seems ill-fitting for someone like me to get up on stage. I wonder if there's any way I could take it up with the school authorities. That's probably a good idea. You should probably do that. Uh, I don't think it's a problem at all. No, Kanji, don't do this. I mean, just do it. You know, seriously. Don't do this, Kanji. Dude, looks like your blood's boiling even more than usual. <laughs> Silly Kanji, just tell her you want to see her on the stage. So, is it a deal? The four of us will be in the beauty pageant? What are you saying? Um, I beg you, please be in it. If you do, my, uh, doubts will finally be cleared. Come on! Make me a man! What? 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 Doubts? What are you talking about? Naoto, don't, 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 don't. Look, just, just do it, damn it! I mean, you're an ace detective, aren't you? What does that have to do with a beauty pageant? <laughs> Guys, you fucking broke Kanji. <clears throat> We're back! I'm so tired. Why did we send Yukiko and Chie to go get this shit? Where'd you guys go? Over to Jeunesse. We had to go get some paint and cloth. Oh, for the decorations. Thank you. Did you have them write you an invoice? Yeah, I think they understood what it was for, so they wrote it without us having to ask. There's some things I want to go over about the day of the event. Is this about the group date cafe? Yes, since Yosuke's leading the executive committee. Wait, what? It was your proposal, right? Are you serious? Well, all you have to do is the reception. After people sign in, have a few guys and girls sit facing each other at a table. Conduct the short session first where they ask each other questions. After about half an hour of that, it'll be confession time. Get them to select the number of the person they like. If the other person accepts, that makes them a couple. Hey, Yosuke, you listening? <sighs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, if we roll up this bit of cloth, won't it kind of be like a ball? Yeah, okay, I'll be the catcher. Why the catcher? Hey, Yosuke, want to be the batter? <sighs> uh, I don't give a damn anymore. I'm in. Watch me slam that ball right back in your face. Hey, you guys better get serious about this. Welcome back. Well, Uh-uh. <clears throat> 
Rooney, we went over this. Pants. Uh, the universe. Pants. Actually, that one's kind of questionable. He may just be no wearing no pants because his skin is white, but I'm, I'm going to say that's probably pants. No pants. No legs. Um, wheel for an abdomen. Armor, so technically pants. Pants. Dick. Uh, no pants. <clears throat> I'm going out, Uncle Dojima. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going out. <clears throat> the air is moist. Ha ha! Perfect. I don't actually know if we need anything with this, this right now, so we're gonna go tutor, actually. Not that I really wanna fucking do it, but. Why can't you talk to Nanako? Uh, I'm guessing because you're not playing the game? Maybe? Oh, Crystal said, oh, she said you're specifically not allowed to talk to Nanako. Um, are you a creepy pervert, Dom? Then that would be why you're not allowed to talk to them. It doesn't work if you admit it and then say no. That That's not how the world works. Uh, fine, whatever. I'll go fucking hang out with him. Hopefully it'll advance the shit anyway. <laughs> Pervious. Dom. Dom. That was the most revealing Freudian slip I've ever seen. You can see a headline in large letters on the bulletin board. The Miss Miyasogami High Pageant. It seems that a cross-dressing pageant is also going to be held at the Culture Festival. Hey, it's Yosuke. We're expecting great things from you. <clears throat> <laughs> They're doing the cross-dressing pageant again this year? Man, they never learn, do they? Ooh, some people have signed up already. <laughs> Man, what... Idiots would want to be in this thing. Let's see. Yosuke Hanamura... ME?! Wait, and Kanji Tatsumi? You're on here too! This is your fault. This is all your fault. I blame you for this. Contestants. Didn't we only get like two people last year? I heard this year, even if someone else signs you up, you can't back out. Well, that's not cool. 
Okay, but what if they did sign themselves up? Ew, what a disturbing thought! Seriously, that's really wrong! Someone else signs you up? It's them! They must have done this! I blame you. for this for what for what my ass for signing us all up in the cross-dressing pageant it was you was it oh that thing Parise chan started saying let's all have fun with this so I didn't really have a choice and Kashiwagi seems happy too now that there's more people involved in it you little this is cross-dressing Cross dressing. Well, you're the one who started it. It's because of you that we can't back out of the beauty pageant, so it serves you right. Okay, so where do I fit into this exactly? That's beside the point. Don't worry. We'll make you absolutely enchanting, okay? That that doesn't help. That's not what's important here. It's about a man's pride, damn it! <sighs> I'm just gonna make it known, for the record, that all of my friends are terrible assholes. And I fucking hate them. But I'm stuck. So fuck it. We don't really have a choice. This is all your fault. Yeah, yeah. This has nothing to do with pride or any of that. You know already, right? Once someone signs you up, you can't back out. If you got a problem with that, go talk to Ms. Kashiwagi. There's no way she's gonna listen. You know, I really don't understand why Chie is being a bitch to me in this situation, because I really had absolutely nothing to do with this. <coughs> why are you giving up? I ain't doing this. Period. Kanji-kun, are you still okay as far as the mandatory attendance policy? Really, Yukiko? I don't think it would be wise to disappoint a teacher too much. Really, Yukiko? You are a scary gal. You know that, senpai? Just leave it to us to dress you guys up. Risei-chan's with us, too. There's no way you won't turn out pretty. Yeah, you're positive we'll be pretty? I guarantee it. Hey, why are you suddenly fine with this? Well, if we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. I fucking hate you all. There's nothing manly about being a woman. So it's only six months until April, right? Refuse. Kashiwagi's sure gonna get angry if you don't show up. Maybe you and Kanji Kun can be classmates next year. Why is this happening? Because you're an asshole, Kanji uh Yosuke. Because you're a giant gaping asshole. We all end up in the same boat without our consent. What kind of joke is this? Uh the exact same joke you pulled on us? If we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. <laughs> oh, welcome back.
Monaco has given me the bead ring. Which increases evasion against magic. I like the paper armband better, so I'll keep that. Forward, honey. There's not that many people passing by here in the first place. They probably know what's going on. I think we need some shills to drum up interest. Shills? Uh, who? Who else is here besides us? Isn't that kind of sad? Do we have a choice? We need customers to get the ball rolling. If there aren't many people passing by, we have to get the attention of the ones who are by any means necessary. Um, I'm not sure if they only have the, the, the performance because I believe they do. I just think it's more so because they have those capabilities because we bring them to the other side. But there's only five of us here. Yo, how's it going? Hi, Kanji. You're gonna date one of us. I came to check up on you... guys. Perfect timing! But now we've got four guys and two girls. Hey, you guys are cross-dressing tomorrow anyways. Why don't you can sit on the girls' side? You're a douche, class rep. What? I'm not gonna... <sighs> you fucking people, I swear. Here, now stop oh, being a pussy. Volunteering? Yes, stop being a fucking pussy and sit down. Jesus Christ. You never run out of surprises, man. Yeah, that's because I'm actually a man. Sit the fuck down and shut up. Also, I get to sick well, next to Yukiko. Uh... uh, you guys can start now. Will someone please start? <sighs> um, what kind of girl do you like most? Man, he's really getting into this. Actually, what the hell is this? A mock group date? Um, should I lead off? You might as well. I guess I'd like a cute girl. <laughs> You're really passive. Well, for me, um, I guess a girl that's kind and sort of fragile, you know? Someone I'd want to protect. Um, man, this is, uh, um, yeah. Hey, your turn, Kanji. Uh, well, I... I guess someone who's... Kind of mysterious and uh, looks strong, but it's actually kind of. Yeah, I really wonder who you're talking about. Uh, oh, okay, out of the three of us here, who would you date? Hey, I object to this line of questioning. Oh, don't worry. All right, let's start with you, Chie san. <clears throat> See, this would be the point where I would honestly just want to get revenge and just be like, fuck you, deal with it on your own. <sighs> but. Uh, me? Uh, 
who would I choose to take? Well, th that's private. Isn't it? Okay, your turn. Who would you want to date? Kanji. Whoa, way to go, Kanji. I mean, isn't he a perfect match for you? Oh, definitely not. You son of a... I ain't kidding here. You don't stop bringing that up. I ain't holding myself responsible. You got it? There, there. It's because you're so manly. Even guys can get behind that. No, it's really just that he's not the one who's making me cross-dress tomorrow. Well, I am pretty confident that I ain't gonna lose to anyone when it comes to manliness. There's too many chair table legs in the way. Piglet? Romeo and Juliet and Hamlet. Dude. Dude, fuck you, Dice Gay. <laughs> fuck you too, Co. Fuck you again, Dice Gay. It's a haunted house. You're gonna be fine. It's all right. Given all of the abuse that I've gone through already this week, <clears throat> yours is the, the least abusive of the lot. Oh, God. Margaret, why are you fucking with me? Uh... What? You don't even want to date- what? Margaret, why are you fucking with me? I'm going home. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna crawl into bed, and I'm gonna pretend that I don't have to dress up like a girl tomorrow. Thanks for the money, Uncle Dojima. I'm gonna spend it on cyanide caplets. And if they don't work, therapy. And if that doesn't work, alcohol and more cyanide caplets. <clears throat> Why are you guys just standing there? Come on, hurry up and sit down. Come on, Kanji Kun, over here. Don't worry. I won't hurt you. That does not in any way, shape, or form reassure me. What about me? It turns out I'm entering this too. I must win this contest to see my dream realized. He seemed bored, so we signed him up as a last-minute contestant. 
So you're making him suffer too, huh? <clears throat> well, he probably deserves it. Well, if he's been signed up, there's nothing we can do about it. Now, Tokun, can you lend us a hand? We'll leave Teddy to you. Me. The Nauto Teddy team's unstoppable. Well then, um First, I need some dazzling makeup. You're right. Then I'll go borrow a makeup kit from someone. Wait! The battle begins by choosing the right equipment! So their team consists of somebody who never wears makeup and somebody who don't even know what makeup is. Fake eyelashes, right? Yeah, bring it on. Oh, God. <laughs> so it begins. Keep it in your pants, Miss Kashiwagi. Ladies and gentlemen, we now begin the second day of the Culture Festival with the ever popular Miss Yasugami pageant. Let's get right down to it and introduce our first contestant. She's a runaway express train who's in a born and bred and can kill with both her fists and her looks. Who the fuck wrote this shit? Presenting Kanji Chan of the first year class three. <laughs> so. Wow. Now, don't rip me apart for asking, but what would you say is your best feature? My eyes. Oh, a conventional answer from this all too unconventional beauty! After such a strong start, I don't know how much of a chance the others have, but here's our second contestant! An eloquent heiress of the noble Juness. She's pure disappointment from the moment she opens her mouth. That's basically about right. Presenting Yosuke Chan of the second year class two. <laughs> Hi. Holy crap. And here I thought Yosuke Senpai would be able to pull it off. Dude. It's terrifying. I can just imagine someone like him sitting across from me on a train. Now, <coughs> you look ready to win in that outfit. Do you often dress like this? Hell no! Uh, <coughs> like, no way! <laughs> Who is with this? The laughing stock's up here. What did you think this was about? I've already had about enough of this, but there's still more to come. Up next, our third contestant. She has the mildly bitter tang of the city, and she's made more girls cry than there are stars in the sky. What? Presenting our transfer student who's been breaking hearts in the second year, Class 2. When did that happen? Senpai, why are you doing this? Whoa, I thought he was cooler than that. Sounds like your entrance is causing quite a stir. Did you sign yourself up? Hey, now's not the time to reveal stuff like that. I don't see why not. Kashiwagi. Dare she tear away our innocence like this? Now I'm scarred for life, damn it! Our last contestant is a random, unaffiliated entrant. She's a friend of our other beauties. Calling herself King of the TV World, she's a cute, sexy little number. Give a warm welcome to Teddy Chan! Give me your heart. That's a boy? He's so cute. 
I'd get it. <clears throat> and the winner of this year's Miss Yasugami pageant is the random contestant who won everyone's heart, Miss Teddy! As our champion, Miss Teddy will receive a very special prize. Later this afternoon, we will be hosting the Miss Yasugami pageant with actual beauties this time. Go fuck yourself. Your reward is a position as an honorary judge in that pageant. Woohoo! An honorary judge? That's one lame prize for what you gotta go through. Not everyone can get that excited over a judge position. Seeing him so happy kind of makes me happy, too. Fuck you, Yukiko. Yeah, he's like over-the-top innocent. Fuck you, Risei. Well then, Miss Teddy. How does it feel to have won the pageant and become a judge? <laughs> the long-awaited day has finally come. I decree that one of the judging criteria later this afternoon will be... Ta-da! A swimsuit competition! And this is one of those moments where, as bad as I feel right now about being up here in a dress, I can appreciate the schadenfreude. That's right. Suck it up. Aww, I didn't bring a swimsuit. Wow. That bear needs to be disappeared. <laughs> Don't cry. Your tears only make me harder. Well, I doubt he has the authority to declare that unilaterally. And yet. <laughs> this is great. I love the direction this is going. Dress yourselves up as well as you can, you little brats. What is she, the rival woman on a soap opera? Wait, is Kashiwagi serious about winning this? <coughs> Mr. Teddy dropped this off. He said that they're swimsuits. Hey, we don't need them! <laughs> <laughs> my mature charms will win the day. I brought my own swimsuit, of course. I brought my own, too. <laughs> What's with these people? Uh, hey, let's, let's not do this. What's that? Getting cold feet? Wise of you to back out of a fight you can't win. You call yourself an idol, but you're just jailbait with no brains, no guts, and especially no figure. Wow, so, um, you're an authority figure, ma'am. That's, that's pretty illegal. That's pretty a lot illegal. What? There's no way their type would be crowned Miss Inaba. Why not just let them back out? <laughs> oh, and I suppose you think you're gonna take the crown. You little snoring pig! <laughs> snoring? What are you talking about? Your face is as foul as your mouth, and your brain's as rotten to boot. We went through hell because of you! That's it! Now I'm pissed! Oh, you're going to challenge me? It's useless. Don't waste your energy. Yeah, she'll just eat you, Chie. Let this be a warning to the others, too. Ugh. <laughs> You're going to lose. Now's your last chance to run away. Run away? Why the hell would we run from someone like you? To be fair, it's not like you'd have to run very fast before she'd get winded and run out of breath. Well, we did kind of run away last time. That's what I'm saying! We gotta stand our ground and get our revenge for that! How can we cower and hide when they're picking a fight? Yeah. Right, Reese Chan, now Jokun, we won't run from this, right? Huh? Me too? Why are you letting your
yourself be so easily provoked? There's no way! Absolutely no way that I'm wearing a swimsuit. You're not going anywhere. Wow, this is getting really uncomfortable. I'm pretty sure Chie just threatened bodily harm on Naoto. are open to the public year-round, so whenever you're in the mood to enjoy them, please drop by. <laughs> All right, that'll do nicely. Next up, a very familiar face from the first year class two, Miss Rise Kujikawa. Wow, I think that guy just exploded in his pants. Next is the mysterious transfer student of the first year's class one, Miss Noto Shirogane. Hey, Kanji, here she comes. Hey, shh, hide down. I, I'm Naoto Shirogane. It's hard to believe I'm up on a stage at a pageant like this. This is beyond my wildest imaginings. I, I really don't know what to say. C can I step back now? And with that, all six uniquely beautiful contestants are on stage! That was a nice way of phrasing that. Points. Now, let's have our special judge, Mr. Teddy, ask them some questions. Yeah, if you choose the dating path for Naoto, they actually bring that up. She asks if you'd like her to talk higher like a girl in her normal voice, or if you're okay with her talking in the man voice. She also asks you if you would like to see her in a girl's outfit or in a boy's outfit. And if you choose the girl's outfit, she actually, like, brought over a fucking girl's outfit for you to look at her in, like, on the date. So, like, you basically get to see her in, like, a school uniform. <clears throat> it's, um, kind of weird. Well, uh, Miss Chie, do you have a boyfriend? You know that she doesn't, dude. Have you ever smooched anyone before? Dude, really? Huh? Stop it! Ms. Naoto, where are you ticklish? What? I beg your pardon? Can I stay at your house next time, Risei-chan? What kind of a question is that? 
Anyways, I have a surprise announcement for you all. Wait till you hear this. For the first time ever, this year's pageant will feature a swimsuit competition. And it's all thanks to Mr. Teddy here. We'll take a brief break while our contestants put on their swimsuits and be back in just a few moments. <coughs> and I've died a little inside. Shut the fuck up, Yosuke. You sound like a dirty old man. Yes, yes he does. Chie Senpai is cute though. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not sure why you're apologizing, but okay. Sorry for what? This is great. Shut the fuck up, Yosuke. Wow. Yukiko Senpai. She is exactly how I imagined she'd be. Kanji, she's wearing the exact same swimsuit that we saw her in on the during the frickin' spring vacation. The exact same one, sir. You here's Hi, Rise. Yes, Dom, you are in point of fact the dirty old man. But aren't you kind of always? She's so gorgeous. Shut the fuck up, Yosuke. Oh, Kanji. Huh? Miss Naoto? She's not coming out. <coughs> well, sad news, everyone, but Miss Naoto won't be coming out for this portion. Fine by me. The fewer rivals I have to crush, the better. Those are some saggy ass titties, lady. Oh, well, I had a feeling that would happen. Shut the fuck up, Yosuke. Too bad, Kanji. Huh? No, um. Well, yeah. Don't you think it was brave of her to at least show up in the first round? Meh. Yeah, you're right. Shut the fuck up, Yosuke. Well, it's about time we voted. Who are you going for? Well, um, GA signed me up for this. Rise pressured everyone into signing me up for this, and Yukiko acted like a complete bitch about the fact that I was signed up for this. So I'm voting for Naoto. Huh? Is that allowed? Thanks for waiting, everyone. The results are in. Looking at the way the vote went. You guys out in the audience had a hard time picking a favorite. Lots of different opinions with every one of our contestants having their own enthusiastic supporters. On the other hand, it looks like you girls were all thinking the same thing. And so, there's a clear winner. Grand prize goes to... Miss Noto Shiro Gummy! Her androgynous charm seems to have won most of the girls' hearts. We'd like to present Miss Noto with her award now, but it looks like she stepped outside. She won, even though she dropped out of the last part. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Man, losing to Noto. Well, I guess I didn't appeal to the girls that much. Oh well. I think it's enough that we beat those two hands down, Senpai. <laughs> How could I lose a beauty pageant? <laughs> Miss Kajawaki. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs>
Hi, Nanako. I'm glad you didn't have to see any of what just happened. Hi, Uncle Dojima. I'm glad you didn't have to see anything out of what just happened either. I've got to make a business trip to the prefectural office, and I won't be back until tomorrow. Shame it had to fall during your school's culture festival. Nanako and I were both looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad you didn't show up. Sorry to dump this on you, but could you show Nanako around? Sure. Would you like to walk around with us, Nanako-chan? <laughs> Can I? Thanks. Then I'm gonna get going. Have a safe trip! Yeah. You have fun too, Nanako. Okay, Dad. Hey, Nanako-chan, why don't you come over and stay at my place tonight? Huh? 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 What did you just say, Yuki-chan? Oh, a celebration at your inn? Is that okay with you? Uh-huh. I promised you guys a while ago, so yeah. Hell yeah! I'm down! Can I boil eggs in the hot springs? What? What? Oh, I should call my grandpa and let him know. It's just one night, right? Come on, it'll be fun. Everyone will be there. Yeah, I'm not seeing how that's going to be any fun, but okay. Can I? <sighs> Let's go. I want to spend the night. <laughs> Hot springs, you cut up, lush skins. Teddy, shut the fuck up. Are you sure it's okay? I mean, isn't it still the busy season? We've had fewer visitors this year. There are some open rooms, too. Oh, Why okay. did you sound so apprehensive Man. about that? Man, when was the last time I stayed at Yukiko's place? Actually, Dom, that's about accurate. Oh, we're in different rooms. Did you think we weren't going to be, dumbass? Well, duh. Shut the fuck up, Yosuke. It's one thing if they were next door, but they're so far away. Dude, just fucking go down the hall and talk to them. It's not that hard. Yukiko said there weren't that many open rooms, so they're up on another floor. Shut the fuck up, Yosuke. First thing they're gonna do is take Nanako-chan to the hot springs. Shut the fuck up, Yosuke. <laughs> is it one of those girls and guys together springs? Oh my god. This fucking guy. I can't. I don't want to take more than one bath if I don't have to. Well, why don't we take a dip before we hit the sack? I guess. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, Yosuke. By the way, what's up with this room? It looks pretty expensive. I had to dress up like a girl because of Yosuke. Normally a room like this wouldn't be open during the busy season. Shut the fuck up, Yosuke. I was trying not to think about it, but you don't think something happened here, do you? Great. Also, shut the fuck up, Yosuke. Senpai? What are you all quiet about? Now that you mention it... Shut the fuck up, Yosuke. Jeez, that freaked me out. You answer it, Kanji. What are you freaking out for? <clears throat> Hello? Oh, I see. Cool, thanks. That was the front desk. Said the hot springs should be pretty empty right now. Wow, Amagi Inn, great service. Broke out in a cold sweat. Good, you deserved it. Well, come on then. Let's go wash it off. I can't wait to take a bath with everyone. Dude, if you touch anything, I'm gonna fucking beat your ass. 
we'll all face the same way and wash each other's backs. And we're gonna sing songs while looking at Mount Fuji, right? What the fuck is wrong with you? That's a bathhouse, dude. Man, everything on this side is so fun. It's all thanks to you for bringing people over to my side. Thank you, Sensei. Well, at least somebody's enjoying themselves. Wait, there's an elevator in this place? There's plenty of room. Huh? Oh, okay. Wow, now tell your skin looks so soft. Can I touch? Can I touch? Huh? Um. Wow, it really is smooth. You're so lucky. You have such fair skin and silky hair. No unneeded body fat either. Hey, where are you touching? Um, Nanako-chan. Um, are you okay with staying over at someone else's place like this? Aren't you scared? I don't think she's the one that has a reason to be scared right now. No, it's lots of fun. Yeah, because everybody's not molesting you. Oh, I'm always alone until Big Bro comes back. Oh, uh, I see. But I'm good at staying home alone. I always do what my dad tells me, like not opening the door for strangers. Wow, I bet he's so proud of you. Hey, Nanako-chan, do you want to swim around? Can I? I've been swimming here since I was young. Do you still do it? Huh? Um... Why are you hesitating? Come on, let's race to the other side. Whoever loses owes everyone a fruit milk. I want lemon soda. Uh, what? Me too? Check out my dead man's float! Wow! You're good! Oh! What a giant spring! I'll show you all my teddy paddle! Ow! What the... Huh? Why are you guys here? That's <laughs> my line! <clears throat> now I will note that hold the line is a, is a option that you can only choose at rank 5 courage. Um, but it doesn't make much of a difference. You. Wow, you got him good. I am 
seems pretty deadly, huh? I wonder if they caught a glimpse. Oh, it's actually the guy's turn to use the springs now. I got the times mixed up. <laughs> Are you serious? Aw, oh, crap. I think we went too far with them. Uh, what should we do? Oh, it'll be fine as long as we keep quiet about it. This will just be between us girls. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is the summation of the past 48 hours. Yosuke, who is supposedly my best friend, signed up the entirety of the girls' group to go into a beauty pageant that they didn't want anything to do with, except for Rise, because she's fucking weird. Um, <clears throat> the girls asked me my opinion on the situation, and I said, I don't think you should do this, because I didn't want them to do it if they didn't want to. Despite this, it was blamed on me that they were doing this anyway, and so I was signed up for a drag queen beauty pageant without my consent. Because of the fact that I'm basically stuck in the position no matter what, I went along with it and said, well, okay, that's fine, and I got dressed up like a girl. Uh, they ultimately voted Teddy to win this thing, and he nominated all of them to dress up in swimsuits. Basically just horrifying everyone in the whole situation. Uh, and the end result of this is that we were all invited to come here and hang out in the hot spring. We were put into the room where, and we're going to get into this in a bit, but spoiler alert, the announcer was murdered. Um, so when we were called and told to go down to the hot spring, the girls were already in it because they mixed up the times, and I was bludgeoned about the head and face with wooden buckets, at which point, Rise's entire response was, fuck them, they're the guys, we're going to lie about it. All of my friends except for Kanji suck. That is the moral of this story. All of my friends, except for Kanji, fucking suck. All of them. Unilaterally, universally, without question or exception. Naoto just let... Naoto... Uh... Meh. I'm kind of hit or miss with Naoto, to be honest. Because she's going along with Rise right now. And by the way, I don't even get to use the hot spring. I checked again, and sure enough, the hot spring is supposed to be for men at that hour. They're so evil. Evil, I tell you. <laughs> I don't know why, but my head's all bumpy. <laughs> Those are lumps from the pails whacking you in the head. You got lumps, man. <laughs> Hey, uh, guys, did you, uh, see anything? No. None whatsoever. Damn it. I lead a cursed life. Let's just go to bed. Hold it, senpai. Do you hear something? <laughs> Thank you, Zeke. What was that? I heard it too. <clears throat> yeah, it sounded like Hanako sobbing. Don't tell me. Is there one here? One here? One what? Dude, what are you talking about? <laughs> this room. It's the one that announcer was staying in before she died. My mom was talking about it. Oh god, you said it. I was trying to block it out and you had to go and say it. So that's why there's talismans here. Yukiko, that witch tempted us here knowing full well. Damn it. <coughs> First the hot spring, now this. We've been completely suckered. <laughs> oh, crap. There's no way I'm sleeping through this. Well, to be fair, Zeke basically just hates Yosuke. I hate everybody but Kanji. I've made up my mind. I'm going to Yuki-chan's room. That is a terrible fucking idea, Teddy. I can't 
can't sleep soundly unless I'm watching everyone's sleeping faces as I drift off. That doesn't even make the tiniest bit of sense. Sleeping faces? Are you going to sneak into their room? You can't be... <sighs> Hey, what should we do? No. Then we'll have to spend the night here. Dude, I'll just fucking go home. N no way! I can't! I won't! The girls can fucking take care of Monaco. Alrighty! It'll be a surprise awakening for them! Oh, God. Okay, now I officially hate everybody. Weird fucking bastard. Stop talking like that. Oh, check it out. A hairbrush. And it's got long strands of hair on it. Dude, why are you looking at their hairbrush? You're really into this, aren't you? Damn straight. It's time I got revenge for the camp out. Hey, good point. Alright, I'll get my revenge too. Yeah, side note. We never did, in point of fact, actually, in any way, shape, or form, get any kind of recompense for the fact that they almost poisoned us and then shoved me into the fucking river. See, also, all of my friends fucking suck, and they fucking hate them. A toothbrush! What? Holy crap, my heart's pounding. Why are you happy about fucking with their toothbrush? But what about Nanako-chan? Don't worry. Nanako-chan is a magnanimous girl. That's a big word for you, Teddy. Well, that's true. But try not to wake her up. She's not part of our revenge scheme. Oh! I finally reached the futons! They're fast asleep! Excuse me! Yuki-chan! I'm scared of the ghosts! All right. I can do this, too. Time to prove I'm a man. Chie senpai, be gentle! Why are you jumping in with Chie? Huh? One, two... Where's the rest of the futons? Hmm? What's going on? Ugh. Sheesh. Oh, my! So that's all you guys are! Ah, uh, you should have said so! There you go, Teddy. Time to become a man. Mmm, such naughty boys. <laughs> to be fair, without any makeup on, Kashiwagi-san is actually kind of attractive. But Jesus Christ, those red eyes are freaking me out. Ah, be gone! Holy crap! D -d don't touch me! We were crying our poor eyes out until now, you know. We thought there were no men who appreciated our beauty. All right, boys. I'm all yours. And not a word about this to anyone. Um, I know that I'm probably supposed to make, like, an Eiffel Tower joke in here or something of that nature, but A, she'd probably be into it, and B, I didn't want any part of this in the first place. <laughs> Come here, tiger. Can I go home now? Oh, this feels great. And just to rub it in that my life sucks and my friends are awful, I get to watch them having fun in the hot springs again. something breaks their hearts. Huh. I guess they were really devastated from losing to Naoto-kun. Please don't bring that up again. Well, they do make a good team.
Yeah, only because I want to say, once again, go fuck yourself. You're free today, right? Can you give me a hand here? I'm begging you. Really, after all the bullshit you put me through over the past 48 hours, you're begging me for help, you piece of shit? The Halloween fair starts at Juness today. We're nowhere near ready. We have the decorations, but I can't find the floor manager, and I have no idea who to ask for help. God damn it. Fine. Yes. I owe you one, partner. Okay, I'll see you at the food court. Well, <clears throat> Jack doesn't have a lot of stamina to be honest. Yeah, none of his other friends are probably picking up. Is the point that you have to understand here, Crystal? Because they're smarter than I am. I thought it was better to be thicker. Anyway, it really doesn't matter how long you can last. That's what fingers are for. Back hurts, but I'm finally done. Also tongues. <laughs> well, this place is practically my backyard after all. Oh wait, you're done too. Good man. Costume's a good fit for you. It's so natural on you that it looks like your everyday outfit. You should put on a costume too, sir. Of course. I'll put mine on once things get underway. I wouldn't ask you to do it if I wasn't going to do it too. Anyway, you were a lifesaver. Thanks. <clears throat> yeah, you're just extremely lucky. As long as he's here. Oh my fucking god, Teddy. Having fun. Yes, he's like our store mascot now. Hey, uh, Yosuke-kun, uh, what's going on here? <clears throat> okay, fine. Ladies, let's take a poll. Which do you like better, fingers or tongues? We've got one, two, three, four... Between five and six of you here. Okay, so Crystal prefers fingers over tongue. Dick first. Jack, your input is not appreciated in this poll. Okay, what was his fingers? Jack, you have boy parts. Zeke, you don't have to answer the question. You have boy parts. <laughs> Nothing, Dom. Don't worry about it. Okay. That's two. That's um two for fingers, one for tongue. No, I was laughing at the fact that he was stressing that he was peeing in the pool. <laughs> yeah, welcome, welcome to the Mark B. Writing live stream, where everything is fucked and everybody sucks. Okay, so we have 
two for fingers, one for tongue, and D has stressed that she has no human contact from which to base this off of. I guess you're the only one left to answer, Eileen. <clears throat> Although she might have dropped out temporarily, so. Oh, there you are. These are the decorations for the Halloween fair. Huh? <laughs> Come on, Yosuke Good. That got canceled a while ago. What? Hmm? I uh, thought you were there for the morning meeting when they announced it. <laughs> oh, well, maybe you were still groggy since it was so early. Well, I'll be counting on you to clean this up. Okay, so that's uh, two for fingers and two for tongue. <laughs> this, this is amazing, though. Did you two uh, do all this yourselves? If you're gonna work this hard, maybe we should have gone through with it. So stop looking at me like that. You're only making it worse. Shut the fuck up, Yosuke. soon. If it snows, can we make a snowman? We can play a lot. Let's play all the time until spring.
No, I was trying to figure out what the answer to that question was. Oh god, who wants to fucking hang out with me now? No. I see. Good day. No. does Chia get at? I think Chia is rank 8. And if I do the rank 9 event, I have to decide with her. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, yeah, rank 9 event. Okay. Uh, Yukiko is the rank 9 event. So we can't hang out with either of them yet. Um... I guess we'll hang out with Naoto. <sighs> yeah, oh no, I'll be fine with myself. No, you don't understand. I'm walking you home. It's either hang out with you or one of these other fucking assholes. There's still some questions I have regarding the murders. So, let's just, let's just put this into perspective once again. <clears throat> We've been friends now, actual friends, like a month. Uh, this is our third time individually hanging out. We just went through the culture festival. There's all the different things going around with our personas. There's all these people that we are mutually friends with that she doesn't hang out with. What is Naoto's response? Hey, you want to talk about murders? You want to know why none of these people have any friends until I showed up? Pretty much that. I'm fine, Jack. I'll see you again. I'm just saying. Welcome back. <clears throat> oh. 
What if I don't want to calm down? You're not the boss of me. Yeah, the center of a small circle of friends. Yosuke, the douche, and Yukiko, who hung out with, like, nobody ever. Okay, so she's fine. <clears throat> I think Kanji wants to hang out with me. I'm pretty sure Risei does. I don't think I have to make lunch because I don't think... I suppose I should make lunch and give it the fucking uh, moon check, Ayabihara. Uh, mix and cool simultaneously. And there you go. I can make California rolls. So the best kind of fish is raw fish. No, she hangs out more often now. Don't talk to me like we're friends. Oh yeah, yeah, the, the, the culture festival was great. I dressed up like a woman and then you beat me in the head with a wooden bucket. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, the culture festival was great. I had to dress up like a woman, and I got brained in the head with a wooden bucket. Oh, and saw f far more of Kashiwagi and Hanako's bodies than I ever wanted to see, and will ever want to see ever again. What is this? It's delicious. And you wonder why I'm eating lunch on the roof with Ayabihara, one of the worst people in this school. Think about what I have to work with. Compared to all of my actual group of actual friends, this is the nicest person that I know. Link rank seven. <sighs> sure. Okay, so we're ranking up moon to eight. What is what is her thing? Uh, first or second choice? Got it.
Well, congratulations, I. You've actually realized that you can be yourself. Oh no, herself is most definitely an asshole. But she's trying. I'll give her points for that. Ha ha! I'll be getting a lot of Genji beetles. Uh, I don't need the level up Naoto. Let's see. Don't need the level up Yosuke, because we're done with him. Kanji's not at a point where that's a problem. Done with that one. Don't need to worry about that. Female classmates. No, she's ready, she's ready, she's ready. She's ready. Uh, done with her. Probably her. Chie. I thought we established that you weren't an asshole, Crystal. Uh, I'll be her. Huzzah! Two more ranks and Ayabihara is done with. You're welcome. I think I might actually go and catch the River Guardian now. Since I don't think I can actually hang out with anyone. Or the Sea Guardian. Yeah, nobody's available to hang out with, so I'm just going to go catch the Sea Guardian. Do you want to hang out while I do that, D, so you can freak out again? You totally want to see it. You know you do. <clears throat> Genji Beetle! Nope. Genji Beetle. Ha ha. Nope. Genji Beetle. Nope.
Come on, game, work with me. I don't know, I listen to Jack all the time, and I feel like my life is dramatically improved for it. There you are, you son of a bitch. Come to Papa. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Sea Guardian. Yes. Oh, got another one. Come on, fucker, let's go. Round two. I'll fish your whole family into fucking extinction. Ugh, this game. You can probably make enough sushi to feed all of Japan with this son of a bitch. No, that's okay. I'm done. I feel like we're probably done for this evening.
<clears throat> I don't remember what sequence we were at, but... Did we do this? Did we do the second one? I don't remember. Oh, Dean Crystal went to bed, I guess. Eh. Ooh, excuse me. All right. Well, probably about that time, ladies and gentlemen. How about... All right. Give me one second. Let me stop the stream and restart it if we're going to be doing stuff like that. Give me a moment. 